In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the pen tool. The pen tool is one of the most misunderstood tools in Photoshop and Illustrator, but yet it's one of the tools that is really imperative to create good selections, draw good lines, make good fills, that sort of thing. So the pen tool is something you really need to just spend the time and learn. It's not intuitive. Many of its elements are truly not intuitive and take some practice. And But soon enough, you will get it and life will be so much better, I can guarantee you. So I'm going to start here just by, on a blank document like I have here, I'm going to go to the pen tool, which is right down here, right above the text tool. And if you click and hold, you'll see that there's several different tools within its bundle. The first one being just the straight on pen tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that what it does is it just lays down a path between the points. Now, so far, I'm just clicking and it's making straight lines, but if I click and hold and drag, it pulls out a handle. This is the handle, and then thus pulls out this line so it curves. Now, if I click again here, it curves away from the handle. It like slides itself along the handle and creates a curve. So now if I just click down here, it's going to be a straight line until I pull it again and so on and so forth. So it's not truly intuitive, but we'll sh see in a minute what we can do with it. The other thing that's um, nice about the pen tool is that if you would like to create square lines from like this line, if I wanted to be absolutely 90 degree angle, if I hold down the shift key, it'll square the line over. If I come up, even if I'm off a little notice, I'm going to add a slight angle and click, holding down the shift key, it'll make a 90 degree angle. Same here, click, it makes a 90 degree angle. Same here, click, it makes a 90 degree angle. So the shift creates 90 degree squares from the points. So let's get rid of this. That's the very basics of what we're talking about. Here is a exercise that I've created that is up on Flickr that we did in class the other day. But I'm going to just review by doing a couple of these and talking about the various tools within the pen tool and the ways that we can make wonderful selections using the pen tool. So again, using the pen tool, I'm going to click on the corners of these squares. Now I want to put every one of these up on its own layer. And we can even label this square. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click. Remember, if I hold down the shift key and click along this line, it'll be in 90 degrees and I don't have to guess. And then we'll complete the path all the way around. And now, since I'm making a selection, I'm going to right or control click and choose make selection from the box that opens up. I'm going to uh, feather this zero pixels and say OK. Now, I have a selection and I'm going to choose edit. And as we learned the other day, I'm going to stroke it. And I'm going to stroke it with the color that's indicated within the shape. And this time it's blue. I, my goal is not to make the, the line so thick that it extends way beyond the black, but just a few pixels wider. So we'll say six pixels for this and say OK, and then deselect. So you notice I see none of my original black line, but yet I'm covering it beautifully with the colored line that I've chosen here. So I'm now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this shield, and I'm going to start doing this one. So this one's a little bit more challenging because it has some curves. So I'm going to click, click and hold, and drag. And then I'm going to, on purpose, choose this bottom one click and drag, and you notice I can't really get it along there. And also notice, because I had this handle sticking out here, I have this strange um, curve here. But we can fix that up in a minute when we use a new tool that we're going to learn to fix up the line. Now, if I would like to move this handle out of the way so I don't have that sort of backlash curve, I can hold down the Option key and hover near it with my pen tool and see how it turns it into this like carrot symbol. The carrot symbol, if I click, I can drag the handle back to the point or wherever I want it to go. And then I can continue on. I'm, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to drag that out. And again, I'm going to hold down the option key. The little carrot comes up and I'm going to drag and I'm going to close the selection or the path at this point 
but now when I right click I can turn it into a selection but I don't want to do that yet because it's really not at all accurate and there is a way that I make it accurate. If I go back to the pen tool and click down I can pick up something called the add an anchor point tool and I know that if to move this line into the right position I'm going to have to add a point there and add a point here. So now I'm going to, to be able to move that around, I'm going to go back to my toolbox and right below the text tool is a tool called the direct selection tool. If you hold down on it, there's the path selection tool and there's the direct selection tool. The path selection tool chooses entire paths, and this is great if you have several paths going on at once, and the direct selection tool uh, selects simply parts of the path. So if I click on certain points, like this one for example, I can then move it into position like so and notice it also brings up the handles for each of those points and then I can get this line beautifully positioned right along the original line by using those handles and you can pull them in and you'll start to feel and to see what it happens when you do this. So when you get it on top of your line like so and you're satisfied with the way it looks then we will right click make a selection zero pixels and then I'm going to stroke it with this color so I'm going to stroke it so I'm going to go to Edit, Stroke, and I'm going to change my blue to a purple, like so. Say OK. I would like to same six pixels and on the center and say OK. And now deselect. So the next one that I would do would be probably the green starburst, the circle the black club shape, clover shape, and the most advanced of them will be this red puzzle shape that has both um, concave, convex, slightly curved, all sorts of lines going on. And if you could do all of these, you're well on your way to really understanding how the pen tool works and turning it into a tool that is a little bit more intuitive and is vastly useful for many different areas of Photoshop and Illustrator alike. Good luck!